Hi guys, my name is Muhammad Alif bin Uthman al Kasim. Me and my group member will share information about Maple Syrup Urine Disease, MSUD. Let's we start. Maple Syrup Urine Disease, MSUD, is a rare inherited metabolic disorder, which MSUD, the body cannot break down certain amino acids. Individuals who have the disease progesterone that has a distinctive maple syrup odor. In MSUD, the body does not have enzyme from a group called the branched alpha ketoacid dehydrogenase complex, known as BCKAD. BCKAD enzyme process have three important amino acids: leucine, isoleucine, and valine. This are brain chain amino acids BCAAS. MSUD have a four type. There is classic MSUD, intermediate MSUD, intermittent MSUD, and thiamine responsive MSUD. Okay, let's we continue with etiology. Uh, one of the factors that can lead to the MSUD is the mutation of the gene that provide instruction for making protein that work together as the branches of keto acid dehydrogenase complex, which is this is the enzyme that will process three important amino acids, which is leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And then MSUD is inherited and autosomal recessive, means that for a child to get the disease, he or she must inherit the defensive copy of the gene from each parent and then the, oh, if uh, both parents carry the MSUD genes, uh, each of their children has a 1 in 4 chance for getting this order and then a 1 in 2 chance for being carrier. For the pathophysiology, mutation of the gene reduce or eliminate the protein complex preventing normal breakdowns of leucine, isoleucine, and valine. As a result, these amino acids and their byproducts build up in the body. Because high levels of these substances are toxic to the brain and other organs, their accumulation leads to the serious medical problems associated with maple syrup urine disease. Next, we will discuss about the symptom of MSUD. For the symptom of classic MSUD, there are lethargy, poor appetite, weight loss, weak sucking ability, irritability, a distinctive maple sugar odor in earwax, sweat and urine, alternating episode of hypotonia and hypotonia, and lastly high fish fry. For the symptom of intermittent MSUD, there are lethargy, a distinctive maple sugar odor in earwax, sweat and urine, and also ataxia. And lastly, the symptom of intermediate MSUD and thiamine response MSUD. There are seizure, neurological deficiency, developmental delays, feeding problems, poor, poor growth, and a distinctive maple sugar odor in earwax, sweat, and urine. So, I would like to share to you about the diagnosis of MSUD. Back then, diagnosis was commonly made based on the suggestive symptom and order. The affected individuals are now often identified with characteristic elevation on plasma amino acids who do not have the characteristic order. If the parents are suspected to be the gene carrier, you can uh, run the diagnosis test uh, during pregnancy. The sample needed for this test obtained by either chorionic villi sampling CVS or amniosynthesis. This method screening test before birth is for deficiency of branch change alpha keto acid dehydrogenase activity in cultured chorionic villi amniocyte. The second diagnosis test is amino aciduria. This test is actually to determine the amount of amino acid in the urine and the high level of amino acid in the urine indicate the abnormalities of the enzyme. The last diagnosis test is plasma amino acid screening test. This test is to determine the amount of amino acid in the blood. The high level of amino acid shows strong sign problem with body's ability to break down the amino acid. 
The confirmatory test can be done to know the level of leucine, isoleucine and valine in blood specimen by using the HPLC. Next, we move on to the process of a MSUD. This disease can be, be life threatening if untreated. Even with dietary treatment, stressful situations and illness can still cause high levels of certain amino acids that may occur during this episode. With strict dietary treatment, children have grown into elderhood and can remain healthy. Let's proceed for the treatment of maple syrup urine disease. The first one is dietary restriction of the amino acids leucine, isoleucine, and valine. The goal is to normalize the brain chain amino acid without impairing growth and intellectual development. This treatment must be begin very early to prevent brain damage. Babies with the disease must eat a special formula that does not contain the amino acids leucine, isoleucine, and valine. The second treatment is dietary therapy which the intake of leucine is calculated on an individual basis following major plasma amino acid levels for the first 6 to 12 months of life. Dietary therapy also administers timing 10 to 20 mg per day for 4 weeks to determine timing responsiveness. The third treatment is initial intravenous glucose infusion which is 5 to 8 mg per kilogram per minute for infants as rapidly as possible. Insulin infusion may be added to promote anabolism. Next treatment is continued additional dietary support. In rare circumstances, hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis is required to remove branched chain amino acid and keto acid. The last one is liver transplantation, which is mostly in patients with classic MSUD. <laughs> Lastly, this is the statistic of MSUD in Malaysian children. That's all from us. Thank you.